Hello and welcome back to the second episode of our 100 Baby Challenge. If you have not yet seen the first one, then you will not know who this character is, but feel free to go and watch that if you would like to catch up. But this is our matriarch. Her name is Amelia Hart. And in the first episode of our 100 Baby Challenge, we created her and we created her house as well. So this is where we are gonna be living. We're living in Oasis Springs. At the moment, her house is a tiny home, but that's only so I can like reap the benefits, reap the rewards of a tiny home. So like cheaper bills, skill boosting, like happier moods, things like that. We probably will need to upgrade this house as time goes on. So just bear with me with that one. Um, but this is where we're living for now. Now, I stream these episodes live on my Twitch channel, which is Tazkabaz, and I will obviously upload them here onto my YouTube channel. I have made a playlist, so if you ever want to catch up, they are going to all be in a playlist. However, the community have come together and unanimously voted for our first baby donor to be somebody that I didn't expect to be coming into this 100 Baby Challenge. Now, I didn't think or I didn't plan on having two of my gameplay worlds collide in but just this once we are going to be bringing over a character from one of my other saves into this save just to be the first um baby donor and that's him is River Bloom. River Bloom is going to be the first baby donor of our 100 baby challenge. However, for all of the other baby donors, male, female, whatever gender they identify with, um, feel free to create some sims for me, um, whatever you want. It's probably best that you don't use custom content because I might not have the same custom content that you have, but feel free to create a sim, upload them to the gallery. And if you use the hashtag TazKabazTownies, um, I'll be going through them and picking out baby donors throughout this challenge. So for the first baby donor, we're obviously gonna go over and add River into the game, and then we'll crack on with gameplay once he's loaded in. And I guess have them meet. And yeah, this is gonna be the only, I am just gonna put it out there. This is gonna be the only crossover that I do. But as the community voted, um, we'll let River be the first one. I might move him in like here, just so he's close by. He doesn't need to live in his bougie mansion in this save, you know? <laughs> Let's pop him in here. Oh, we can't afford it. Let's do free real estate on just so we can get him in and moved him. Um, Adeli, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Okay, he's in. So I don't think we need to go into his save. I am just gonna do that just so he's not in our main house, like controlling thing. If the pregnancy with River is triplets, then that would be getting off to a cracking start. <laughs> Three out of a hundred. And I mean, it is in his genes. It's in his genetics because Mind you, they did have the science baby, didn't they? So, I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll see. He was one of three. So, this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, I'm so glad the streams are your safe space, Nutty. That's such a lovely thing to say. Um, okay. Let's crack on. So, remember... Oh, why don't we do a quick recap of 100 Baby Challenge rules? So, for anyone that doesn't know, the main... God, she looks fuming at the fact she's about to do 100 Baby Challenge. <laughs> I feel like she's regretting her life choices. But, um, essentially, the main goal of the 100 Baby Challenge is to have 100 babies. Um, I think you should do it, like... Or they say about doing it with the same matriarch. However, my previous 100 Baby, we had five or six different matriarchs. Um, but I'm still not sure yet. I might do the whole thing with Amelia, um, maybe mix up her look throughout, or if it gets to X amount of babies down the line and I'm like, no, wanna switch it up, then I'll do that. But um, yeah, for newborns, they just age up as is. I think for infants, um, you do like two of the like skill things, like motor skill or whatever. Um, there is talk of like having them eat certain food, but I think I might do the motor neuron skills, whatever it is. I can't remember. Toddlers, they need to reach level three in all the toddler skills, I think. Um, children and teenagers then need to get A's in school. And once they're young adults, they can then move out. So that is basically the gist 
of the 100 baby challenge your main sim can't have like a job they have to make money through like means of their own so i think for to begin with we're going to try and do paintings but obviously sims don't age when they're pregnant so at the moment she is aging because she's not pregnant so you kind of want to get her pregnant asap so that aging stops so since we have loaded river oh wait is river not there which house did i move him into i think he's over here somewhere since we've moved him in wherever why don't we get her to go and visit him i think we'll definitely also implement the cupid's corner app into finding like dates and finding baby donors and whatnot um but we'll do river for the first one. <laughs> oh yeah his mum was a twin as well so multiples is in his genetics okay oh lordy look at river imagine if they don't get on although he's a oh god we have to attempt an introduction because he's a, a oh he's only a notable newcomer oh no <laughs> He's going to love this. He loves the female attention. Oh. She has a neutral att attraction to Rover. Oh, yeah, there's going to be so many new things, isn't there? God, we don't have much compliments. Maybe let's compliment him. Like, he'll love this. How do we get more... Do we just have to keep talking to it with him to open more options? Compare self to River. Romance. Imply attraction. Maybe we'll compliment his appearance. We'll like load it on thick. We know what River likes. Um, oh yeah, we've got on the ley line as well. Um, so multiples is possible, but we'll see. I'm not sure actually, Victoria. I don't know what the odds are. I mean, yeah, we had it, but um, in Sims in Bloom, but we did do Science Baby, which I think increases the chances. Okay, their friendship is already like pretty good. Oh, he didn't like whatever she just did. But trying to talk to him is hard. That didn't go so well. Should probably wait. Oh, wait, being romantic. Is he in a relationship, though, at the moment? Is he? No, he's not. Oh, God. Um, how are we going to pull this off, you lot? I feel like I have to work extra hard because he is a celebrity. Will I get more options unlock if I just keep talking? You got a little love green thing. I can't even like flirt or show him affection. Let's share stories. And... Has anyone ever cracked a celebrity? Oh, Amelia likes emotional decision makers. Apparently River feels his emotions stronger. <laughs> Does she really? Oh, who's this hottie? Oh, Marcus. Sorry, Marcus is ripped. I can see why his last name is Flex. He does not skip leg day. Wow. That's a, that's a lot. Uh, more friendly introductions. Oh, wait, we're getting more things here. Hold on. We've unlocked loads now. Should we, should we go on a date? Why don't we ask him on a date? Look at Mortimer Goff just scrolling past. You want to go on a date <gasps> did he say no river has declined going out on a date with amelia try getting to know him better romantically also a sim's mood can change the outcome oh my god river said no to a date this is not river river was literally like do you not know remember when he was at that um bar in uh, where was it? Selva Dorada. It's very unrivally, isn't it? Um, I, 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 I don't agree, River. I just don't agree. Let's try and just get the friendship up. Let's discuss healthy relationships. River knows nothing of the sort. And try and get the friendship up. River likes dancing. I like dancing. Hobbies. Talk about dancing. That will help him to like us. River would never have said no. Say no. He wouldn't. The stress begins and maybe he's changed. I highly doubt that. Um, I'm wondering if we maybe add him on social bunny. 
say? Tuka? Oh. What I find is I find that Social Bunny is quite good for this sort of thing. So, you know, sending a few flirty messages on Social Bunny. Uh, like sending some friendly ones, it just boosts it a lot easier. And I think if we're going to have to do this a hundred times, potentially, <laughs> this is going to help us out massively. So like we'll send a few flirty exchanges, you know, get that going. I do the same thing. Yeah, does with the romance. I think it's going to be a whole lot easier, especially if he's neglecting a date, which is so unriver like it's beyond me. <laughs> Maybe he's a happy married man now. No, but he's not because in this save, his wife doesn't exist. Latasha, she's not here. So, okay, yeah, you know, we're on a good level now. River is feeling a romantic connection and wants to go on a date. Oh, would you ever look at that? <laughs> he wants to go on a date. Let's go do this thing, River. You suggested it, you know? <laughs> So we're going to be romantic, we're going to do physical intimacy, we're going to do friendliness and maybe a little bit of woohoo at that as well. Why don't we actually go somewhere in the new world just because they've got like the, um, you know, the, what is it called? Cupboards. <laughs> the little cupboards that you can go and woohoo in. So what's the new world called? Ciudad Enamorada. Where's that? Copperdale. Oh, it's not in alphabetical order. Trying to find it now. Ciudad Enamorada. Why don't we go to the park? Because there's a little thing at the park. Um, you don't like the Twitch update? Yeah, they've made it harder to find like the people that you actually follow, I film. It's like Sims 3, just spam funny interactions and the relationship just rockets up, yeah. <laughs> River wanting to lead in the relationship. Yeah, he's, it's like... You ask me and I'm going to say no, but I ask and it's like, yeah, let's do this. He's ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Oh my God. Look how cute she looks in her little like denim number. She's so sweet. I love her. Um, let's have a first kiss. We'll do some small talk. Um, we'll do the date as is and then we'll do um, a little bit of woohoo. We'll talk about woohoo, I think. Learn more. How do we talk about Woohoo? Oh, under small talk. Just one of those things that you talk about on a first date, you know? Discuss Woohoo role models. Hold on a minute. What on earth is Woohoo role models? You know, when people ask for your like role model and you're like, yeah, my role model is like my mum. You know, she raised me to be like a wonderful like woman and blah, blah, blah. But when someone asks about your woohoo role models, that's a bit like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is a woohoo role model? Oh, do you know what? Somebody also suggested, um, now that you can create a custom relationship label, we can call River. Baby donor number one. I think that's a good relationship to have. So then now, if we open his profile, our relationship is baby donor number one. So that's going to come in really handy. That's if we actually have a baby, to be fair. Elizabeth, welcome in. Thank you for redeeming drink water there as well. Okay, I'm not getting the woohoo option. Like, it's not coming up yet. So why don't we just do some flirts and... Some physical intimacy, all that stuff. Um, oh yeah, there's the woohoo. So the game's basically telling us now we need to go and woohoo. Are we doing it? Where are you running off to? Wait, should we get outfits on and then do it? Hold on, River, let's wear an outfit. Let's wear a nice outfit and then we'll go in the closet to woohoo. Hi, Daisy. Yes, so the community voted that River be our first baby donor for um our 100 baby challenge let's wear a couple's costume i feel like it's essential and then we'll go and woohoo um oh yeah try for baby with river let's pop our costume on oh yeah we could make a baby donut wool although i don't know if we'll have enough room i mean we could do we could do a basement somewhere that we add to are we adding, are we putting outfits on? 
I don't think we are. What happened to the outfit? I was really looking forward to that. Oh well, it gets the job done. Here we go. They are woohooing. This is Amelia's first ever woohoo. And typically, it's with River. I love the music and I love the fact the door literally breaks as well and all steam comes out of the door. The door's like moving. Very like descriptive. It was not my idea, actually. <laughs> it was definitely not my idea. It was your idea. Do you think she's going to get pregnant on the first one? There's toilets literally over there. Oh, can we take a pregnancy test? Let's go do that. Paz loves a bit of river chaos. River always brings the chaos, doesn't he? Okay, she's taken her first pregnancy test. One of many. Is she pregnant? <gasps> river! The swimmers are swimming! And River has got Amelia pregnant! <laughs> okay, alright. There we go. That It was that easy. River's got strong swimmers. Where is River, by the way? Is he flirting with somebody else? Where has he gone? River's kind of just left us to it. River babes, we're meant to be on a date. Hello? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Sorry, I did... I literally completely, like, didn't even see him because he's... <laughs> he's ready to go and mow the lawn, lawn and clean out the horse poop and all that. <laughs> he's ready to muck up out <laughs> oh my lord okay why don't we try another cost costume and then we'll go and um <laughs> we'll go and like finish off this date because it's not as if she has anywhere she needs to be because the pregnancy lasts for like three or four days i think yeah river literally saw the pregnancy and ditched oh my god she's about to tell him she's pregnant he's heartbroken <laughs> oh no he got the job done in one River's got strong swimmers. <laughs> yeah, of course they got pre Oh, for Christ's sake. This is not sexy, actually. Oh dear. Let's go ahead and talk about physical intimacy while we're dressed like robots. Oh, <laughs> What is happening? Of course he gets the job done on the first try, literally. Oh, Look at these. <laughs> River doesn't understand where babies come from. We need to teach him about the birds and the bees, to be honest. Um, uh, not another one. <laughs> he literally, yeah, does the woohoo and then he's off. He's like, my job here is done. I got what I wanted and now I'm going to leave. They've already got like full romance, full friendship. Um, Talk about physical intimacy. We'll obviously do that. Small talk. Forms of intimacy. River doesn't understand forms of intimacy. River just understands how to whip his sausage out. Like, that's literally it. Share interests. I know, these outfits are wild. To be fair, at least Izumi is not, like, in this save. So we're not hurting her for a second time. You know, that's important. She's not getting hurt a second time by him. Yeah, the costumes are very restrictive, aren't they? <laughs> oh, my word. All right, let's get a... Actually, do you know what? If we get a, a good date, um, if we get a gold, we get a picture of them anyway. Although I do kind of want them to get out of these stupid outfits. Okay, why don't you try wearing another outfit? Because then we can actually see. <laughs> see who you are. Yeah, Azumi was way too pure for River. Oh, for cr- <laughs> She's dressed as a Grim Reaper and River is literally a skeleton. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, it. <laughs> River is, um, it's it's kind of representative i guess but you know we need to be wearing things where i can actually see your face <laughs> rivers 
Body is gone. River is now Bone Hilda. The relevance is here because, you know, he, he's got a lot of bones that he likes to use. If you know my meaning. Would you ever just wear an outfit where I can see your face? <laughs> For crying out loud. No, she closes. Hi, Chassovies. Welcome in. Oh my god, Amelia and River are both very satisfied. Okay, do you know what? Babes, you are not. You're meant to be wearing the aubergine, not a peach. <laughs> He's meant to be in the aubergine and yet he's dressed as a peach. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He didn't want to wear the aubergine because he didn't want to be seen as what the aubergine represents. I think that's what it is, to be honest. <laughs> what is going on? I mean, I never thought that I would see River like wearing an aubergine. So do you know what? This is actually quite amusing, to be fair. <laughs> She looks quite hot in whatever she wears, even when you can't see her face. Whereas River looks like a laughing stock, so, you know. <laughs> the chaos is chaotic. I do want to get gold, though. Oh my god, I want to get a picture of River in the blooming peach. We need to get gold. Add that to the memories. Email it to Izumi in a completely separate save. Um, just so that Izumi's got it to laugh at. Okay, let's discuss healthy relationships. And let's also discuss expanding family. Doesn't, don't they say as well if they want to expand the family? Oh my God, he said he doesn't want any kids. Amelia's feeling unflirty with all of her recent failed romantic social interactions. <laughs> the game's like, River is so non-committal. Like, he really isn't taking these flirts on. Like, I think you're actually a little bit unflirty because it's not working. No! Well, no, we're not doing that. As wonderful as that sounds, in, I'm not in a position where I feel comfortable doing that. Well, I'm sorry, River, it's too late. You stick your sausage in and you've made me a uh, <laughs> pregnant. You've made me a mother. You're going to be a father whether you like it or not. I feel like this is exactly how it went with the previous women. This is so River coded. Like, he's not interested in kids. He literally just told Amelia that, point blank. But you can't just... Like, have your cake and eat it, mate. Oh my god, he's now saying no! <laughs> There's a stop sign over her face! He genuinely only wants one thing. I actually can't believe the audacity of him. Um, Kajd, thank you so much for that raid! Welcome on in, raiders! Can we please get some welcomes into our raiders? How was your stream? Welcome on in. My name is Taz. I use she, her pronouns, and we're currently playing the 100 Baby Challenge um welcome on into the stream what did you get up to were you playing the sims as well um i hope you had a good stream hi Jax. rivers causing chaos in my 100 baby challenge <laughs> cq welcome in thank you so so much for the raid um welcome in friends uh, i hope you had an amazing stream and possum hello welcome in there as well um welcome welcome thank you for the raid you've come in at a very interesting time as my sim is dressed as peach yeah, all River is interested in is literally Woohoo. Um, the creator of her hair, I think, is Nightcrawler. Um, I have to take my daughter to the doctor, but I really want to see how this goes. It's just pure chaos. <laughs> pure chaos. Oh, my God. The date's nearly finishing. Oh, we need to get gold. We need to get gold. So that we can get the picture of River in the peach. <laughs> Hang on. Um, kiss. Played some Roblox and so nice. I'm glad you had a good stream. Oh, we need to do one more and then we should get gold and then the date will be finished. Yes. Okay. Lilac, thank you so much for gifting a sub over to Kajdi there. Thank you for 61 in total in the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and Kajdi, enjoy your gifted sub. Thank you so, so much, Lilac. That is super kind and super generous of you um, to support me and them in that way. I think she has arm hair. Good. I've got arm hair too. Nothing wrong with that. All the more representation. <laughs> in fact, I have leg hair at the moment because I can't be bothered to shave them. But it's completely normal. It's completely valid. 
And uh, yeah, Amelia's just reached level three of the romance skill. Okay, <laughs> right, let's end the day. Actually, we'll just wait for it to end automatically um, because uh, there's no point ending it early because it's literally gonna end in a few minutes time. Okay, what is she feeling? So she's had an exhilarating rendezvous. She's super satisfied from the woohoo, super satisfied from her romantic relationship. She's happy because she wants to be pregnant. Does she actually have the want, like, wants to be pregnant? Oh, she hasn't got any feelings about that yet. That's fine. Because with, oh, I don't have RPO in my game, I don't think. With one of my mods, it says whether you're happy and, like, wanting to have children. Okay, we got a gold medal and we got a cherished memories portrait. So let's head home, let's frame it. And I think let's start doing a bit of painting to um, earn some money. On her girlies rise up. <laughs> Took care of some of my leg hair yesterday. Uh, thanks, Laser. Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you for the gift sub to River Chaos. That is very relevant. <laughs> thank you so much for gifting a sub. Whoever that was, I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for that. Can we get some big old hypes in chat for our Anonymous gifter? Even if it was to River's alternate Twitch account. Um, Munchkin, hello. <laughs> Munchkin, thank you so much for 42 months of subscribing. Also, 38 months of those have been in a row. That's actually wild. Thank you so, so much, Munchkin. Thank you for three and a half years. A big flex of a resub. Thank you for being such a huge part of this wonderful community, for supporting me in every which way, like in every everything that I do. Um, choosing to subscribe as well and give me your prime sub out of the plenty of people it could have gone to. Um, thank you so much for that impeccable support. Um, and thank you for just being in this community, hanging out in the streams, popping in when you can and supporting me in everything. It means the absolute world. And I'm so grateful to have had you be subscribed for the last three and a half years. I love you more. And um, yeah, thank you for everything, Munchkin. Send in all of the love over your way as well. Thank you. Um, and Anonymous, thank you for the gifts up to Queen Troll. And thank you for adding to our monthly August sub goal as well. <laughs> Even though you gifted it to a chaotic account. Thank you so much for that. A new badge for three and a half years. There you go. Um, that's amazing. Congrats on your charity stream. That's awesome. Well done, you. Fab. Okay, she's still dressed as a peach. <laughs> Might be worth changing out of that, babes. But what we did do is because we got gold on the date, we have an embarrassing memory of River. <laughs> Wearing a peach costume. First date, first baby donor, first pregnancy. Let's add it to the frame. I mean, we could, we should sell it to publication. <laughs> we get a bit of money for that. River's quite famous in The Sims, believe it or not. Uh, but we won't. Um, do I have... I'm going to put that book into the bookcase. And I think we will, yeah, get cracking with some painting stuff. I'm really hoping this isn't multiple. <laughs> but I guess multiple does... Um, the reason I say I hope it's not multiple is because I prefer dealing with one... Let's do a flirty painting one child at a time because it's less stressful because when you've got multiple it's kind of it's a lot but I guess the more you have the quicker the challenge ends <laughs> the quicker you get through but it's just traumatic and it's stressful having to deal with like triplets at the same time and like feed one feed the next do this do that um, until they're children it's kind of stressed but we'll see um see you later Liskeen. thank you for hanging out today thank you for popping in and fran and nickel thank you for that follow welcome in brandy happy time zone just um, liking and laughing while i work thank you for making this a fun comfortable space a safe space to hang out thank you for that lovely message my love i am glad that it can be a comfortable sure, safe space that means the absolute world um, oh my god imagine if it is multiple river babies she's eternal optimism is anything more exciting than love? Amelia doesn't think so. Amazing date. She's bouncing off the walls with excitement. Oh, babes, don't get too attached. We all know what River's like, and you need to have multiple babies as well. Oh, I'll tell you what we should be doing. Around this world... Actually, let's get her to have a quick snack. 
around this world is things you can dig up, right? So I think we need to go and start digging up the things that we can to try and find like plum bite, right? Oh, there is loads to dig up. Let's go on a mission and dig up everything that we can. Um, yeah, to, to try and find plum bite. There's literally everywhere. There's frogs. We may as well like look for frogs. Is it also the park has loads of things to dig up too? See you later, Captain. Have a safe journey later and enjoy your brunch. You like twins when they're toddlers and kids because they can play with each other. The good thing about it, I suppose, is that um, when it comes to like potty training, they can watch the others and stuff and that obviously helps. But it's just a lot to manage. It's a lot for my little brain to manage. Um, yeah, she's just chilling in the peach costume. How many babies are you through the challenge firepower? An army of little rivers running around. Drawing her and river. Yeah, it looked like it, wasn't it? Yes, super efficient baby care came in very handy when I first did the 100 baby challenge. That's a good one. Um, is there any here that we can dig? There as well. Okay, I think I've gotten all the ones that's like in this area. She's just wandering around now, digging them all up, wearing a peach costume. <laughs> um, but we'll, um, yeah, we'll go to the park as well and dig up there. Is Plum Bite literally one that you can dig up? I need Gigi here to help me with this. We found limestone. It should have a fossil. Okay. True, Shep. Yeah, when there's a team that can help you out with the twins and stuff, it's a lot easier. But I think when it's just one sim on their own, it's kind of stress. Enjoy your cup of daisy. Can I have one as well? <laughs> um, yeah, Plum Bite. I need to figure out how we get that because if I can get it from this then that's going to be great and we can just um do that to help with everyone's needs Al alabaster what does that do hi Taylor I love the new love struck pack costumes they're so weird yeah <laughs> she's literally walking around dressed like a peach they're funny though and there's some great like interactions with them um as in like when they're wearing them if you click on the different things to woohoo there's funny options for that Okay, so if we just keep digging, we should hopefully find Plum Bite. So I'm going to try and do it this way, and if it doesn't work, we'll just try and maybe find one off the gallery, but I'll try. Um, I don't watch football, to be honest. My family, my brother and dad have been Man United supporters for... Did I click that one? I didn't. I missed that one. Yeah, Man United supporters, but I don't support any team. I don't watch it. I do watch it when it's like... Um, the like big ones or whatever. Okay. The peach outfit is literally a vibe. Okay, she's found moonstone. Let's speed it up a bit. Digging up treasure in the desert wearing a peach costume. No, it's just completely normal behavior, isn't it? Nothing strange or odd about that. She just found a ruby, okay. I mean, if anything, and we don't use this stuff, we can at least sell it, I guess. She found limestone. And then she's going to have one more to dig up, and then I think she can go to bed. So she's freezing. Oh, no. <laughs> Please don't freeze. Can you imagine that? Like, freezes to death on the first episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. <laughs> Right, thanks everyone for watching um, today's episode. She is now frozen to death, I'm afraid. So that's actually the end of it. <laughs> Bye. That'll be good. Uh, okay, we'll go do a garden salad. She is going to pee her pants if she doesn't get home ASAP. Okay, she's walking slower because she needs to wee. I'm definitely expecting a pee pants. Oh, I told you. She peed her pants. It's the first pee accident of the series and it's on the first episode. Imagine if she just found Plum Bite. Then it would all be worth it. <laughs> it would all be worth it. Right, go make a garden salad.
We may as well serve that as well, because then we can put it in there and she can keep taking. She found his Ozenoid, which is not quite a plum bite, but it's fine. Can't die, that's true. Fastest series ever! Yeah, there is a secret mine. I, I think I um did a TikTok on that ages ago. That's true. She did she peed her pants alone in the desert. Nobody's gonna know. And it will dry up before anyone could possibly walk past it. It's fine. Live a little bit of embarrassment from her. That'll be in her milestones now. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh look, relationship preferences. Women and men, woohoo triggers jealousy, triggers jealousy. How do you... Oh, you, you changed that in Create a Sim. But look at her milestones. Achieved maximum romantic satisfaction. Had her first woohoo. Peed her pants. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, she's listening to music. That will hopefully cheer her up. Get her mind off of the fact she did wee her pants. Wait, have we got... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody also commented on the last episode and said... Um, that we don't need an outdoor bin if we've got the money bin. So we can delete that and save a little bit of money there. Did it really happen? Yeah. Literally just obtained from digging. Okay. Thanks, Munchkin. I'll keep digging with her then and see if we can find her. We'll go to the main park as well. And I think these, the things we've dug up should reappear every day as well. The little tent. That's um, for the toddlers, I think, and the kids. And they can get their imagination skill up in it, which is really good. Oh yeah, good idea to remind me to save. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, I often need save reminders. It could be very easy to forget. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop the garden salad in here, just so it stays fresh. And then we'll turn this off and head to bed. Hi, Nerbsy, how are you doing? It's good to see you. It is good to see you. Yeah, they, they can sleep in that tent as well. That's really handy. Oh, and it can show up from lightning. Okay. Does it, is it, um, I know in certain worlds they don't have like rain and stuff. Does it rain in Oasis Springs to incur lightning? God, gifting a three month sub to Patricia there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can we get some big exclamation point hypes in chat for Bod? And Botisha, if you were here, enjoy your gifted sub from Uncle Bod as for the next three months. You um, won't have any adverts, you get to use emotes, you get a little plum bump next to your name. So enjoy being a subscriber for three heckin' months. Oh, thank you for saying thank you there. Um, and Bod, thank you for that very generous gift sub and thank you for 468 in total in the channel, a humongous flex. Thank you for that bod, that's ridiculous of you, but thank you. Oh, that's cute Salami, you had one like that when you were little. Hi Jack, how are you? Okay, so it does rain in Oasis Springs, so we can have the potential of getting plum bite from thunder, right? Thank you for the save Liam. I'll do another save <laughs> just for like just for ease of oh did she finish her painting no we'll finish that as well Lexa thank you for that follow welcome into the community happy Thursday all right getting her sleepies rivers call in hey friend I was wondering if I could stay over at your place for a few days let's hang out and have some fun no I don't have the space <laughs> where are you gonna sleep mate in the tent I don't have space for you to come over. I love how River at first was like, no, I'm not interested in this romance. I don't want to go on a date with you. And now he's like, right, I'm packing my suitcase and I'm coming over to your house. No, River, we're going to be the one to be like, no, leave us alone. <laughs> oh, River, 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 would you ever leave me alone? I heard there's someone famous. Oh, of course, you want to go and bum lick all the famous people. No, leave us. Oh, the welcome wagon's arrived. Hi, Johnny Zest. Do you know what's so bizarre? Oh my God, should we do a flirty introduction? Do you know what is so bizarre is that when I went to a Sims event, a real life Sims event that was for the, um, it was kind of for the uh, release of the For Rent pack in London, the Sims team had like hired out a venue, made it look like it was an estate agent and hired actors 
to play the role of um, like Johnny Zest. He was there. Um, and like the land grub family, they ran this estate agent and like these actors played the land grubs and it was really cool. <laughs> so anytime I see the land grubs, I just think of that event now. It was, it was so good. They were so like good at playing the characters. It was amazing. And shrimp. Yeah, he's just trying to preserve his image. Exactly. Take the hint, River. River being clingy. Exactly, Taylor. Oh, could never be trusted now. Right, let's brighten his day. Where's our food? Don't you normally bring fruitcake? Except Johnny Zest has just showed up on his own. A bit early for the welcome wagon. I thought they normally come after a few days. We're feeling uncomfortable with morning sickness, which is not good. But I'm just going to get her to maybe throw up as well. That might ease the sickness. And have some fruit salad for lunch. In fact, serve a uh, serve fruit salad because then you can go and like pick it over the week. The land grabs. We just needed just women's river exactly. Johnny, where's my fruit cake, babes? I'm kind of concerned. You've come in here without a fruit cake. It's not a welcome wagon without the fruit cake. Do you have my fruit cake? Where's my fruit cake? I'm actually fuming. I love finding out if my sims like or dislike fruitcake. And Johnny Zest has just showed up empty-handed. How dare you come to my house empty-handed? What? I'm fuming. Emmy, welcome on back. I'm actually fuming. Right, fruit salad. I know. How dare we? We don't get any fruitcake. All right. Um, we should probably clean that toilet. But you know what I am going to do? I'm just going to check. Yeah, let's go and do our rounds of digging. And uh, do you know what? I'm not even going to stay here anymore because the audacity of him to not bring fruitcake has kind of shocked me. And I'm kind of mad. Actually, do you know what? I'm not mad. I'm just more disappointed. And that's worse. <laughs> that's 10 times worse. So I'm going to do the rounds. I'm going to go and dig. And when I come back, if there's no fruitcake, then I'm kicking Johnny Zest out of the house. Masaki's the cutest sim, so that's River's only use in the Sims. Do you know what? Yeah, he just wanted one thing, and then obviously her dad was like, nope, you're not getting away with this, son. <laughs> you are um, out of respect as well, like, you know. But it worked out in the end. Masaki, um, Azumi obviously had Masaki, and she's the light of her life, so... At least things did work out in the end. Um, I feel like I've missed a few. Oh, there's a digging spot there. Okay, wait, let me get her to do... Finish her fruitcake first. Hello, Mama Bear. Welcome in. Good time zone yourself. How are you doing today? Is there any over there? No. Amora, hello. Welcome on in. Yeah, we have started 100 Baby Challenge round... Well, technically round three. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it will be... I'll actually stick with it. So I, I'm seeing it as round two. Um, but how are you doing, my love? Welcome on in. We're going on a digging excursion to try and find... Oh, let's get some strawberries. To try and find plum bite. River, why are you calling me? Leah has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? He's literally dating me one day, getting me pregnant. And then... <laughs> It's now going on a date with someone else. Go for it, River. We actually don't care. Like, he, the fact he felt he needed to let me know about that is, like, actually the audacity. Oh, she found some limestone. Um, I'm going to harvest the strawberries and then we'll move on to, I think, the park in Oasis Springs because that normally has good things to dig. Did he leave a fruitcake? No, it kind of looks like he's just maybe eating something. And is just now standing there like a lemon. Why did you not bring fruit cake? Who do you think you are? Baby's fever finally broke last night. So you actually had a good night rest. Good. Why are you reading? Get out of my house. You fruit cake, not non bringing fruit cake person. What is she thinking about River? Cloud gaze with River Bloom. No, we're not doing that. Hello, Darren. Welcome in. Came to say hello. Can't see stream because the hotspot's so bad. 
Oh, I'm sorry that um, the hotspot was bad, my love, but I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I feel like we're getting closer to plum bite. She just found simonite. It's getting closer, you lot. Uh, it wasn't my fault, Maura. Blame the community. The community voted. It was a community voted thing for River to be the first heir. It was not my fault. I promise I did not suggest it. It was the community decision. <laughs> Please don't blame me. Blame this lot. You didn't let me stay at your place, so can I date someone else? Literally, River. Good morning, Ari. Welcome in. Oh, we're so good, Darren. You've been keeping up with the TikToks each day of the puppy. She's so cute, getting so big. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, she's doing good. She is... Oh, my God, she is popping, that belly. Um, yeah, she's the best little, like, pup. She, I've never met a seven-month-old puppy that is as well trained as um, Nelly is so but that's you know the time and the effort that myself and Alex put in but he's great we're all good thank you Angelique welcome in how are you no I don't like checking MCC because I feel like it it ruins the fun out of it it's fun to find out like what it's like fun to be surprised you know yeah. trimester she's in her second trimester oh god do you think it's going to be multiple with a belly that big oh. and only the second trimester Oh, God. Okay. I'm stressed. No, not hopefully. Is it bad that you doing this makes me want to try the 100 baby challenge? Don't be fooled, Daisy. Don't do it. You'll have regrets. No regrets. As I said just now, Irish, I'm not going to be checking MC because it ruins the fun out of it. What do you mean we should probably go, Johnny? Only you showed up and you brought nothing and you've just eaten something from my fridge. We should probably go as if him and five neighbours showed up. The cheek of this guy, genuinely. Um, I don't know, to be honest, Kobe. I don't know if it makes the belly bigger if there's more. Because sometimes I've had big, be big bellies and uh, there's only been one. So I really don't know. You're doing okay, good. Anxious Sage, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. I've never seen this little um, bridge before, you know. Quite cute. A nice little area, actually, in Oasis Springs. She's literally spending her days doing so much foraging and digging. It's wild. I wonder if on the ley lines only works if they're conceived on the lot or if it auto applies. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Because, yeah, I suppose she didn't actually conceive at home. Maybe it won't be multiples. They conceived at the park. Speaking of the park, I'm just going to get her to get these strawberries and then let's go ahead and head over to the park so we can do more digging. A murder porn. <laughs> no, I, the, it's just too stressful. I enjoyed it, but then I thought having to do this for 100 baby donors is just going to be a faff. So it's fine. There'll be no murder. Maybe that meant we'll add a few. Maybe. But we're not going to consecutive, consecutive, consecutively murder like we did in the other one. <laughs> okay, uh, let's find more digging things. Hey. I thought there was normally more around here. Let's see. Are there any other worlds which have a lot of things to dig? Doesn't change based on number of kids, but can look larger. Uh, okay, so if your sim's a bit bigger, yeah. Where are... I haven't seen anything to dig. I thought there was more here, but maybe not. There's frogs, but I'm not looking for frogs. I thought there'd be more of the diggy things. I've literally not seen one. She's not dating River, no. The community voted, um, and I'm blaming it on the community because it was them, um, voted for River to be the first baby donor for the 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, yeah, I know you can breed the frogs, but uh, I don't think I can see any of the digging rocks. You'll need to spawn in, do you reckon? Maybe we'll get her to go and... Is anyone cooking? No. I don't want her to cook. She's dancing. Yeah. 
How long do they normally take to spawn in? Let's like walk over here. No, wait, what do you mean it's the same universe? Um, oh, there you go. Now they're spawning in. Thank you for that, um, Jojo. So this is um, a different save. So it's a different universe. I didn't plan for River to be transported in, <laughs> um, but the community wanted him to. So just for the purpose of him being the first baby donor, we popped him in. But like the other Sims, like Otis and that, aren't going to be coming anywhere near this 100 baby challenge. He's too pure, too pure for that. No, like, I'm I'm not going to... Like, Benjamin, they're not in this save. It's a completely different save. River has just been added in through my gallery, like, my library. Um, So the likes of, like, Benjamin, Otis, Indy, they're, they're not going to be anywhere at all. Like, it's not... They're not going to just bump into them or anything like that because it's a completely different save. Um, It's only because the community literally begged me... Um, to add River, that, that's why, yeah, that's why River's come in. But I, I don't plan for there to be, like, a crossover as per se. Um, but it's just that, yeah, River wanted, everyone wanted River to be the first baby donor, so that's sort of why. Uh, did I click that one? I think I did. Okay. She found a jet. I hope we're getting closer to a plum bite. Flamingonium. Are there any other worlds that have these? Has to be on the lot with the lot tray. Oh, is it really Munchkin? Then maybe we won't be having doubles. <laughs> Jen, hello, long time no see. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the 22 months of subscribing. Thank you for choosing me as your prime sub as well. You literally could have given it to anyone. Thank you for choosing to give it to me. It means the absolute world. Um, and I hope you've been doing good. It's so good to see you. You don't need to apologize at all, ever, um, for being MIA. But I hope things are good with you. I hope life has been treating you well. Um, thank you so much for supporting with the 22 month subscription. Um, yeah, it's good to see you. What have you been up to? I don't remember the last time I would have um we would have seen each other. I hope I hope things have been good for you. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Oh yeah, the lab does have um crystal, but unless you you work at the lab, I don't think you can go there, right? Hi MBK, welcome in. So the plum bite is um when the crystal creation pack came out, plum bite is if you do something with it on the table, the crystal creation table, um it like helps the needs of the sims that are in that area. So basically, if we do this and we charge it, oh my God, look at River, like, hey, you became friends with Johnny Zest. He's pretty cool. Why are you keeping up to date with my life, River? Um, yeah, if you charge it on the crystal charging thing, um, you'll be able to keep everybody's needs good. So it's going to be really helpful for like when we have infants, making sure they're not all like uh, bad needs and stuff so we can work on the things that we need to work on can be found in any world with dig sites. The thing is, I don't actually know where all the dig sites are, so we'll have to have a, have a little look around. Things are going really well, thank you. Whole new life going on now, really, Jen? Oh, I hope everything's okay. I, I mean, I'm glad to hear that things have been going well, um, but it's so good to see you. I'm trying to think, like what, I mean, a lot has changed since uh, I would have last seen you. I, I now have a puppy. <laughs> She is seven months old, so that's new. Um, I mean, have you seen me since I moved out of my parents' house? I'm now, like, renting with my, my boyfriend. Lots has changed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good. It's really good to see you. And I'm glad to hear that things, things are going well for you as well. That's always good. Um, Sky, welcome on in. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good Thursday. For anyone just coming in, we are... Doing the 100 baby challenge again. Um, oh, I just clicked on that one, I think. Did I? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing the 100 baby challenge and we're currently digging and searching for a crystal called Plumbite. 
because with the new crystal creations pack what you can basically do with it is you can do something and then charge it and the crystal helps the needs of every sim in that area and your puppy is instagram famous <laughs> she's a popular girl had no idea you've moved and a puppy yeah yeah i um life life is, is wild i don't know when the last time i would have seen you's been but I, i'm so glad too that things have been good with you um Crum crumbling isle in windenburg is good for dig sites oh we can maybe try that tomorrow in game thank you munchkin she dislikes gemology no amelia you're not allowed i'm gonna say no she's not allowed to dislike gemology <laughs> this is important she found a diamond though yeah that's true shirt a weather machine what's the weather machine is that the one where you've got to have a good like uh, a mechanical skill handiness skill to be able to do it we could try it though Nelly's full of, um, she's on 103,000 now. Yeah, that's the little private, uh, that's the secret place you can get to if you've got a high handiness skill. Oh, I'm sorry that things went bad, my love. But I'm so glad to hear that things are on the right track now. That's, that's good. But I am sorry to hear that, you know, you weren't in a good place. See you later, Sand. Take care. Good girl, yeah, she's... Oh my god, sorry, giving everyone a head rush. Um, yeah, things have, things have definitely grown. <laughs> um, I can't believe how quickly she got to that amount. Actually, I can. She's a beautiful girl. All right. Dig in. She found more limestone. God, we found so much limestone today. All right, let's go home. Have some foodies and we'll do more digging in the morning. Uh, we can do, yeah. We've got the selling table for art and paintings, but we could also get the, yeah, the yard selling table. Have you not? You've not played on Sims or anything. Need to get back into it. Yeah, if you don't know, Jen is an incredible builder in the Sims. Probably one of the best I've seen. Um, there's so it must have been so many new packs as well, Jen, that have been like released while you've sort of I guess been on like hiatus. Would you would you call it? So many new packs. Oh gosh, we should probably clean that. Um, yeah, that's wild. I'm gonna turn this off just so the bills aren't a lot. Got uh, none of the new ones. Yeah, that is good. Love struck is the recent one that's come out. She needs to stop thinking about River. How do I delete this? <laughs> Um, and that, that's a fun one. What can we, so cut a gemstone design. Crystal. Wait, is Plumbite on this? No. Rare, cannot be purchased. We need to find Plumbite. The others can literally be purchased because they're common. What is the chance of finding Plumbite? Am I like barking up the wrong tree? Can I bribe someone to give me Plumbite? Oh, she needs her fun to go up. So maybe we do actually listen to, let's listen to some hip hop and we can have her dancing, get her fun up. Dance. I'm not famous. <laughs> no F words. As in, no, no saying famous. Does she have any bills to pay? No. Okay, get that fun up and then we'll go to bed. Um, what trimester are we in? Third in 11 hours. We're, we're getting close. Oh, the merchants in the magic realm sell crystals. They might sell it there. Do we have to... Be a magical sim, though, to go to the magical realm? Or can you just show up to that arch? You know, that little thing. Can sims get tips for dancing like they can for musical performances? I think so, Adele. I actually don't know. Good question. Why is her fun going up so slowly? I thought she liked dancing. Go use the toilet and then go to bed. 
You can just go. You just need to have the portal. Oh, you can just rock up. That's a good pun. Rock crystals there. <laughs> um, all right, we'll do that in the morning then. And then we'll come back and do our, if that's a no, or maybe we'll do our crystal search before we do that. Just in case, you know. And then we can go and do that. River, why did you keep messaging me saying I heard you became friends with Johnny's S? You literally said the same thing yesterday. Is it bothering you that I'm friends with Johnny's S? Are you like jealous or something, River? Is there something on your mind, babes? You can't deal with like getting the same treatment that you gave to Azumi, perhaps? A little bit of a taste of your own medicine? Give it up, River. But um, yeah. <laughs> Um, ads help support the channel. Um, so if you are able to watch the ads, um, you know, if you're not able to subscribe and support in that way, ads are a massive, massive help um, supporting the channel. So thank you for watching the ads. Um, okay, let's do all the digging and then we will, if we can't obviously find it, we'll go to the magical realm. Johnny's calling. Riven, you were such a great pet. You should think of something more long term. Big fat no. The crystals, they sell a random every day. Yeah, it, it changes every... Why? Your date went very well. I don't want to know that, River. <laughs> Why do you think I care, actually? All right, we're awake. Let's go dig him. Nims, thank you for gifting the fake salami a sub. You don't have to be doing that. You know you don't, my love. Um, but thank you so much for the gift sub. And thank you for 1,132 in total in the channel. We are on one, two, three for the month as well. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Nims. That is super duper generous of you. Thank you for saying thank you. Um, and Nims, thank you for supporting them and supporting me in that way. Needed to round up. No. Nims. Thank you, though. That's super duper kind. Wouldn't be doing that, but thank you. Yeah, we have your baby now. We don't care. Bye, River. Yeah, River's literally trying to make us jealous. But we're actually not getting jealous because we're not emotionally invested in you, River. Unlike poor Azumi, who is the sweetest soul, we don't care about your feelings. <laughs> um, but yeah. How I didn't miss River, literally, Mama Bear. Yeah, Nelly's doing good. She's all good. Oh my God, speak of the devil. And <laughs> look at the cocky smile. Oh my God. Look at him. The jolly walk is actually jarring. Is he actually showing up at our house or is he just walking by? Why are you showing up at our house? We're not here, River. We're actually out. Thankfully, she found a sapphire. We're not interested in you. We just want to reproduce. Yeah, that's probably what it is, Trust Obies. He's just want to, wants to tell us all about his date. Lo and behold, we don't care. Just turns up completely uninvited. Amelia dug up a treasure map. Unless it's a treasure to plumb by, I don't want it. Yeah, as I said, Scorpio, the selling table we could definitely get. For now, my interest is finding Plum Bite. When we find that, I will be more happy to get the selling table and sell everything, like, you know, the random crystals that we found and all that stuff. Maybe he now cares about being a parent. Yeah, maybe he's a changed man, Mora. <laughs> yeah, her emotions went tense the minute River showed up. She found a moonstone. We'll keep going. Eventually, we've got to find Plumbite, right? Surely. Surely. She dug up a capsule. Oh, please don't wet yourself again. Girly pops. Did you even dig that up? It's too uncomfortable. Okay, I'm just going to do this. It's frustrating. <laughs> Very frustrating. I'll let you wee. Just dig these last two things up. And then you can go and wee. I promise. One of these could have plumb by it.
Oh my god, I have my hopes up then. Obtainium. All right. Go do a wee, go have some food, and then we're going to go and meet some magicians. All right. Her fun is so low. But then even when I got her dancing to the music, she was like, no, this is not fun. So I don't know. An alternate timeline? Wait, uh, where River actually cares? Could you imagine? That would be quite funny. Imagine if, yeah, I don't know, there was a save where River actually cares. I just don't think he has it in him. Like, imagine replaying through um, River's generation where he is like a doting dad. What a wild life that would be. I just want her to get the pop-up of likes dancing, but I feel like she's less likely to get it if she's doing the activity in a tense mood. It's more likely going to be she hates it because she's like not enjoying it um, or she's in a bad mood while she's doing it. Right, let's go to Glimmerbrook and let's go here and we're going to go over the arch. Yeah, it wouldn't be River, would it? It's not River. <laughs> not you when you're hungry. It just wouldn't be him. It wouldn't make sense. Okay, she acquired the dance skill. Well done. <gasps> Look at her in her little beret. Oh, she's precious. I love her. Look how gorgy she is. The beret, the brown cardigan, the sad face. She's a whole vibe. A whole vibe. Um. Okay. Where are we? Where's the arch here? Travel to the magical realm. Doting Dad and River Bloom do not belong in the same sentence. This is true. Listen to the music, not dance. No, but when I got her dancing last night, her fun really wasn't going up that much. I thought it would go more considering she's a dance machine. Oh, well. So gorgeous, thank you, Mia. See you later, Kaz. Thank you for lurking, my love. Um, and if we don't see you, have a good rest of your day as well. All right, we're in the magical realm. Where's the crystals? Is it this one? Oh, we've got to wait for them to spawn in. How do we get here? Oh. Wait. Oh, I guess we can go through the portals. I was going to say, because normally if you've got a broom, they can come through there, can't they? Wands. Crystals. Okay. Let's see if we have any plum bite. No! Dang it! Turquoise, fire, opal, emerald, and diamond. Oh, they don't have any plum bite. And there's nothing... I don't think there's... No. It's fine. It is what it is. At least we say we can say we tried. Oh, well. That's good sad. It's all good. We'll keep having to do our digging and stuff. Is Task of Sad still an emote? Yeah. Play The Sims 4 for 100 hours. Thanks. Oh, I think I played it for <laughs> like 5,000 hours, but thanks, game. Uh, have any more things spawned in? Or is it just once a day you can dig? Okay, I think it's just once a day. I'm really trying, like, not to get it off the gallery. Like, I'm trying my best to find it, you know? But I guess we can do it if worse comes to worse. I guess the baby's not here yet anyway. So it's not essential at the moment. There's a rumour going around that a crazy party is happening at the chalet right now. Care to join me? Let's go! Oh wait, I don't want to bring a sim. Inventory changes every day. Yeah, well, what, at the realm, yeah. Spellcaster pack disappointed you. Did it really? I'm playing. I'm doing a playthrough of that in a minute. I need to do another episode for that. I mean, this doesn't look like that great of a party. Dance party. Where's the music? This is fun. There's literally like elders here. DJ headliner. Where's the party? 
Where's the DJ's like set? I don't quite understand. There's a DJ headliner, but no DJ deck. Um, what do you want from me, River? River's a party goer. I mean, we knew that. <laughs> we certainly knew that. Don uh, Gooseman is here from like the Halter Ranch pack. Let's do a romantic Squash introduction TV. in front of River. Oh, Simon Scott, he's a bit of a babe. Let's romantically introduce ourselves to everyone. The DJ headliner as well. Isn't Rory a wolf? Is River going to get jealous of us romantically introducing ourselves to people? He doesn't care. I'm waiting for a reaction from River and I'm not getting it. Oh, River does not care. What if we start like flirting with uh, Simon Scott? Support Simon's facial hair. Compliment his appearance. Romance. Flirtation. Flirt. Oh, my flirts are gone. Hold hands. Flirt. Why is it not letting me? I love how she's literally doing it in front of River's face. Throw a few flirts his way. Why is everyone mad? Why is everyone getting negatives? Why are you embarrassed? Oh, he doesn't like it. Already gone on a date with someone else. Yeah, literally in the 24 hours of us being in The Sims, River has gone on not only a date with Amelia, but also somebody else. Why does it? He doesn't like me. Oh my God, the paparazzi are here. Okay, I give up with Simon Scott. Amelia has felt the spark of reform. Should she change her love bug ways and live more romantically reserved? No! Oh no, what's this emotion? Unrequited love. Nothing hurts more than one-sided feelings and affections. Awkward encounter. Oh no. Isn't Simon married? I mean, that never affected us before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my... Um, I don't, I give up with this dance party. I don't like it anymore. I'm pretty sure like loads of my 100 baby characters ended up like um, getting with married Sims, didn't they? Because when, you, when you've got MC Command Center where it just, you know, changes, like adds um, stories to the townies and like automatically marries them off, it's quite hard to find single Sims. So we kind of didn't let that bother us. Um, how would you plant a crystal tree? Right, can you go and dance to this? <laughs> yeah, that's always a good one. The, um, having the club. Oh, do you reckon it could be Lovestruck? The fact that he is married. River has got married! <laughs> oh my god! In the, like, literally 48 hours of Sims that we've played... River has gone on a date with us, got us pregnant, then went on another date, then went to a dance party, slept with someone <laughs> at the dance party probably, and now got married to Monica. Oh, is she the love struck lady? River doesn't wait. Like, he doesn't half move fast. What? I actually can't deal with him. Like, the audacity of him right now is beyond me. <laughs> what? I am shocked. Do you know what? I'm not shocked because it's River, you lot. It's literally River. You tried to romance Nancy in The Sims, but after the new update, I can't. Maybe it is harder to romance, like, married Sims now with the new Love Struck pack. Which is going to be another thing that is going to make it harder for a um, 100 baby challenge. Woman from Love Shot. Yeah. New with the crystal creation pack. You can either craft the seed or you get it by fishing. Oh. What's the seed? Which one's the seed? Design jewellery. 
Do you have to be a higher level or something? I actually can't believe that. River's an absolute joke. Are we a joke to you, River? Carrying your unborn child? She got this in her inventory. Oh yeah, let's put them. Wait, that's... You didn't even eat that one. What? Why have you got, like... She had four salads in her inventory that I've just now put in there with the intention to put them in the fridge. And they're now blooming spoiled, you big donut. That's two good meals. You have to cut a gem in a seed shape. Which one seed shape? Hang on a minute, let me use the toilet. See you later, possum. Take care, my love. Cut gemstone. Seed shape. Is it one of these? Emerald. Kabochan shaped. Fire. Level three. Oh, is it that one? I guess if we keep on going around and digging, she'll just get her gem, like, that level up. And then... Oh, she's gone into labour! Wait, we don't have a crib here, do we? Can I get her a crib now? Oh, wait, but I want a freebie. Oh, where am I going? Um... I guess we'll go and have the baby at the hospital. Join her. Actually, mm, send her alone. I kind of can't be asked with the hospital. I can't be bothered to deal with it. Oh God, here we go. Get your channel points ready, you lot. Because who's gonna be the first one to name the first baby in the 100 baby challenge? What's it gonna be? It's a boy! This is only the beginning of the 100 baby challenge. I am going to open up the channel point to name this baby. So get your channel points ready. Remember, make sure it is a family friendly name. If, it, if, any, if it's anything rude or, you know, anything that's not family friendly, then I will take your channel points and you will not be naming the baby. So there we go. Let's unpause them. Bob! Jax has redeemed to name our first baby Bob. Bob Hart. Is it just one? This is the first baby and it's twins. We've got a girl. Oh, Bob the Builder. That makes sense. It's twins. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm having regrets. I am having regrets. Cheers, River. Cheers for your twin genetics. Let me go and open it up for somebody to name our baby girl. Give me just a second. Um, two seconds. You change that to be that. And it's now open to name the baby girl. Bob and Billy. <laughs> Oh yay, per perfect. Daisy redeemed to choose the baby name. So we've got, do you know what? Billy's actually a nice name. But I like Billy. Bob and Billy. Okay, it is just twins, but the first babies or the first pregnancy in our 100 baby challenge has resulted in twins. <laughs> Cheers for that, River. Thank you. Bip. <laughs> Thought of Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob. Oh no. Do you know what? It's not bad. It could have been worse. You could have named it Pineapple Jack. So do you know what? I'm proud of you. Very, very proud of you. Bob and Eliza. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Two down, 98, wait, 98 to go. That is not bad going. Let's go ahead and do some baby care, some cuddles and whatnot. And then I think we will probably wrap up today's uh, video there. Not bad, I say. This is just the beginning. This is where it begins. We're in for a long old ride. <laughs> but I'm glad we didn't start with triplets. Oh yeah, good reminder to save as well. Thank you, everyone.
Um, we had a pineapple. We had a pineapple in the first 100 Baby. Aren't you bored of that by now? Do you not remember? I think he was like one of the first named Sims, wasn't he? In the first 100 Baby challenge. Do you remember? We don't need another pineapple. Do you know what? I will put them in cuter outfits. So this is Billy. I'll change their outfits to be a bit cuter. We could do, yeah, we could do a count on the screen. I'll get that maybe for the next episode. No, we could not do that, Daisy. No. <laughs> I think not. Piney apple. No. No, we don't need pineapple back. Uh, oh, she's already on level two parenting. Of course, with the tiny living skill. Bess. Do you wish you looked as happy as I do? I'm donating, Bess. You've actually helped me before. Well, not me. But in another save. I'm pretty sure I got like 20k from Beth. A Bess, even. <laughs> I'm renaming her. Um... What am I doing? Oh yeah, change her outfit. Let's put her in... What's Nebula? Is that a little bee? That's cute. And then he can go in... Release the quacking. That's kind of cute. Oh. Wait, why did she... I don't know what she wasn't able to do. Oh, look at his new outfit! A little quacky ducky! Is she changing this one's outfit? Or just a diaper? Okay, they look a lot cuter now. Oh no, it's not a bee. <laughs> I thought it was a bee. It's actually the solar system. <laughs> okay, cute. All right, you lot. I think we're going to finish our first official... I mean, it's the second episode, but it's the first gameplay episode of 100 Baby. Um, but we're going to finish on the note of the first babies being twins. Let me know what you think of Bob and Billy down in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge, then don't forget to give it a big like. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe channel and turn on the post notifications so that you never miss a video. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next episode. Taz out.